Well, hello everybody, uh, my name is Tony Grillo. Welcome to my channel, Wisconsin Hugs. I had a video earlier where I talked about uh, Kylie Rodney. I've been following this case and uh, some really uh, mind-blowing uh, uh, information came out today. Uh, and so I thought I would uh, revisit a little bit uh, how this all started. Uh, basically, this has been a case uh, that uh, is being solved by YouTube people. Um, this group right here, uh, she'd been missing for two weeks uh, after not coming home from a party. And uh, this group called Adventures with Purpose, uh, uh, they basically make money uh, doing uh, solving crimes uh, and, and putting it on their YouTube channel. They came out with their boats and their sonar equipment and uh, about 35 minutes they found uh, this this young lady's car in the water. Ten four. I read you loud and clear. There are human remains in the vehicle, over. 10-4. Passenger window is broken out, it appears. Driver's side window is halfway down. Yep. That's what we do it for, brother. Good job. Good job. It's positive, you know? All right. She's in the back of the vehicle. She's not in the driver's seat. It looks suspicious to me. Yeah. Vehicles. So, she was found uh, in the in the lake, and um, basically, uh, uh, the internet was going crazy. Um, uh, Adventures with Purpose had what 2.9, 2.8 million people viewed their video, um, and then if you just go down here, uh, uh, just a bunch of people are putting, uh, talking about this case and making videos. You know, you just gotta go, <laughs> just, uh, and uh, there was. Uh, whole bunch of uh, people were were uh, speculating uh, thinking that it was foul play um, including myself uh, I felt like it was foul play I mean you know nine times I even did a video on it you know nine times out of ten you know a pretty girl goes to a party winds up dead uh, usually it's somebody at the party attacked her uh, that's usually what happens, you know, um, and, uh, why do we, wh and, uh, then there was, uh, uh, people were like, uh, talking about the town of Truckee that, uh, saying that it, it was a bunch of people there were all like, uh, uh, belonged to a cult because <laughs> apparently one of the kids was, talking about Lord of the Flies and, and it, you know, and I, I assumed it, it meant reference to the book Lord of the Flies where a bunch of teenagers uh, wind up shipwrecked on an island with no adults 
uh, and basically it tells a story of what happened uh, to those teenagers and um, that's kind of what I thought the the reference was all about um, you know because there was a whole bunch of teenagers that were uh, on this uh, on this campground uh, by, at this lake and they were all partying and everything um, and it 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 you know there was speculation that uh, Kylie's friends uh, killed her. Uh, one girl was being particularly looked at. Her name was uh, Sammy Smith. Um, and she had kind of behaved in a weird way. Um, she claimed to be really good friends with Kylie, and uh, but they weren't Facebook friends and they weren't uh, Instagram friends. And, um, and uh, she left uh, basically Ky she claimed Kylie was supposed to give her a ride home and then she left with other people because she knew Kylie was drunk so she left Kylie drunk at this campsite um, and you know Kylie's 16 years old and all these other kids are 18 Kylie graduated early and uh, and and then there was speculation that Kylie took off with a, a bunch of guys and there was all this speculation going on uh, and and um, and then uh, this this key piece of information finally came and it just blows the, the water off the case um, I think the speculation is over now so essentially they're all going the correct way she's in the water they're driving another way so essentially uh, somebody another youtuber came up with the brilliant idea uh, that there must be cameras uh, uh, in in the forests out in California, like uh, on the on the fire towers, you know, to monitor uh, uh, forest fires. And they thought, I, you know, and and that actually can be accessed by the public. The the, the video footage uh, of all these different cameras and these cameras are very sophisticated, and and they could see for miles and miles and miles. And somebody thought, well, I wonder if you know if if you can, uh, you know, if there's a camera pointed at Lake Prosser, uh, uh, you know, the moment that maybe it recorded Kylie actually driving into the lake. And sure enough, uh, uh, they were playing around and they were able to find a camera that was pointed in that direction. And this, these cameras are amazing uh, how far they can, they can see. Uh, and they were able to zoom uh, a long ways it, it looked like I don't know like 10 15 20 miles maybe more they were able to zoom uh, right on the lake and this this incident happened at 12 33 at night you know um, so there it's nighttime and you know basically all you could see are headlights but these cameras pick up these headlights so clearly and then what people what this this smart guy was able to do is he was able to overlap uh, daytime footage, uh, so uh, you know with with the nighttime footage, so that you can actually see you know where the cars were driving, and it actually records Kylie's car going right into the lake. There's trees, and there's still people there. I mean, look at these people were at another campground. They were they were the one on on this side of that road, and look at they're leaving, and they all take a left to get out of there. Uh, so let me go back to Kylie's car again. So where was she just before that? Yeah, so it's like. She didn't follow with everybody else. She took a left, boom, into the water. Then the rest of them start leaving. So basically everybody was turning left. And then the later on, a whole other set of people leave. Look at all these lights that turn on almost identically at the same time. Look at And there was reports And then they leave. That, and, and they, they all head out the, the correct time, way, too. They're not, they are not. didn't notice us. anybody in the water there. And there's nobody notices whatever this the light car is going into the head into the water kinda... hmm 
That, that one's an interesting one there. Almost like some, this is this is unbelievable that the camera caught the. And I, right now it's twelve thirty three ish. And look at that. Watch this. Goes right into the water, right off the edge there. It's actually in the water at that point. And watch the white. The light just sort of fades out. Yeah, there's nobody as, there. You know, as, after it went, it no kind of drifted. cars in that area. Anyways, the lights are still on in the vehicle, and then it goes under the water. Watch. Doof. I mean, that is absolutely crazy, crazy. Looney Tune. So I mean, that's amazing. That It's cool that somebody went out and found that, and they sent it to other people. Uh, but next time, maybe send it to me, because I know what, what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, look at how incredible it is right there. Right there. So whoever sent this out to everybody and found it, congratulations on you, and thanks yeah, for letting us see this, because case. it's absolutely, to me... Um, you know, because, I know, after watching this video, there's really no way anybody can say uh, she was murdered, or that there was foul play. Um, about the only thing we can say now is that, uh, you know, who supplied the alcohol? <laughs> that got Kylie killed, uh, and, and maybe there should be some charges there uh, brought onto that person. And apparently, uh, it, it is against the law in California. Uh, well, it's against the law anywhere in any state to supply minors with alcohol. Uh, and, and apparently, there's a, I think there's like a seven-year sentence if, if you supply a, uh, alcohol to a minor and then that person winds up dying. Uh, so, you know, this case isn't over yet. There could still be some charges uh, brought about. And I, I think rightfully so. I think, uh, you know, if if Kylie hadn't been drinking that night, uh, she wouldn't have died. Um, I put, you know, a little... That That's basically bottom line, you know. Uh, it's just too bad that her, you know, her parents knew... Uh, in fact, I guess everybody in the town knew uh, all these kids are going to be up there drinking. And, uh, you know, it's sad. It's really sad um, that this happened. And, and, you know, bottom line, too, is she was alone uh, when she left. And she was driving drunk. So I guess this is probably uh, going to be the end of, of, this, uh, of this whole uh, case now. Um, we pretty much know uh, exactly uh, how it happened. Um, I there there are no other cars in the area. Um, I can't imagine uh, anybody else, uh, uh, you know, uh, being there with her. I I think she just went into the road uh, by herself. Um, and it was interesting too because uh, you know, like Sammy Smith was being blamed for for killing her friend and uh you know people were like well you know she was wearing a t-shirt with uh with handwriting uh kylie's name on it who does that only people that are looking for attention or trying to draw attention on themselves and many times killers do that that's what that's what psychopaths do they they like to draw attention to themselves i mean you know if you're going to search for somebody you just search for somebody you don't put a t-shirt on with kylie's name on it uh, so the cameras will pick up on it, and and I don't know. It just um, you know that's it's she's a teenage girl, and that's what teenagers I guess do in this situation. Uh, it's pretty clear here that Sammy had nothing to do with it. Uh, you know, the only thing she did wrong was she left her friend. You know, if she was supposed to ride home with her friend, um, you know, she left her friend. She abandoned her friend. She took off with someone else, and. And uh, her friend was all alone, um, you know. Uh, and Kylie should have just uh, stayed and slept, you know, slept it off. She would have been just fine uh, instead of driving like she did. So very sad story. Uh, but it's amazing that uh, this case was actually solved by YouTubers. Uh, I, I am just, I am so amazed. I, you know, there's a lot of bad stuff on YouTube out there about, you know, about, you know, how people are analyzing everybody uh, that was involved in Kylie's life, Kylie's mom, her bizarre behavior, uh, to, you know, Sammy, to this guy named Jagar, 
to uh, uh, anybody else uh, that that uh, that was in Kylie's circle. Um, you know, they were they were people out there just saying all sorts of things <laughs> about these people. And so hopefully there's a lesson learned, uh, you know, for all of us, uh, you know, that were, was watching this investigation in real time. I am very proud of all the YouTubers that, that you know, put the work in here, like Adventures with Purpose and whoever made this video uh, that, that got, that captured, you know, came up with the idea of using the, the forest fire cams to capture Kylie's car going into the water. Amazing, amazing work. I mean, now we know the truth. Uh, that about what happened to Kylie. There is no speculation. There is no doubt. Um, you know, Kylie drove herself into the lake. There's no doubt about it. And uh, and so those everybody that's in her circle, they're innocent. Um, and 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 uh, you know, there there should be apologies made. Even myself, I I kind of suspected you know there was foul play. Uh, but you know it's natural to do that, uh, especially when a young girl dies at a party. But uh, uh, just just an amazing uh, case uh, that solved by YouTubers, and he also so you saw the good and the bad uh, from YouTube. You know you saw all these people putting out videos. Um, some of the videos made accusations. Uh, some of them you know painted people in a bad light. Um, I made a video myself, but I didn't accuse anybody of anything. I just listed the four speculations of what may have happened to Kylie. Uh, but I didn't name any names or anything. But I, I was critical of Kylie's mom. And and uh, um, because I didn't understand her behavior. I just didn't. But Kylie's mom all along uh, knew, or she just felt it was an accident. She just... You know, and she just kept saying it's an accident. It's an accident, and and nobody's at blame here. Nobody's at fault. And you know what? She was right. Her mom was right. Uh, very very sad tragedy tragedy. Uh, but at least uh, now uh, it's been solved, and uh, it can be put to bed, and um, and everyone can move on with their lives. Uh, and there there is no uh, cloud of suspicion. Uh, you know, there is no, you know, none of that. We know exactly what happened. So, okay, everybody, uh, I hope you have a great night. Hug your loved ones, you know, um, and uh, Wisconsin hugs.